Oh my God. Every time I get ready to film this video, I swear every single year, it's like so much going on. I'm rushing. I, I'm like, how do we get here? How does this happen? Every single time I get ready to do this collab with my girl. But let me go ahead and jump on into the video. Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So today I have a fun collab. Top five. Top five makeup releases of 2023. This is a collaboration with my girl Beauty in the Frizz. So you know it is mimosas and makeup time. I have a faux mimosa. I have the Raspberry Rosé Poppy Prebiotic Soda here. Yes, that's what I'm drinking. It's actually almost gone. It's good. It's nice and tasty. And it's only 25 calories. So, once again, we are here doing the top five makeup releases of 2023. Let me go ahead and introduce myself before I get carried away. If you are new to this channel, welcome. And if you're older but goody, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup. But please just call me Ash or Ashley. Like I just said, literally every time it's like a time constraint okay so if my girl beat in the frizz we have been friends for such a long time if you are new to this channel and you've come over from her thank you and if you've never checked out beating the frizz which is my girl kara go and check her out she does videos all the time almost daily i don't know how she works it into her schedule she does makeup roundups she also does fragrances she does three palettes one look she also does let's see um, will i buy it called the makeup protection program and she also visits old palettes like i do so if those things seem to interest you i think you would definitely love her channel so we have five releases and you know they're they're a little all over the place some a couple things are a little bit newer so i'm gonna start with like one of the newest releases that came out this year because I love it. And I'm just like, I, yeah, it came out like in the fall time. So it's new-ish, but I am really loving it. So the first thing I have, which is basically in no particular order, is this, the Fenty Skin Plush Puddings <laughs> Lip Mask. Okay, so I love this. This is what it looks like. I'm actually wearing it right now. I have nothing else on my lips. Look how moisturized and hydrated my lips are. And the reason why I love this product so much because it's really hard for me to find lip oils and lip masks. Like they can be great, but usually what happens, I start getting like this white line <laughs> across here. Maybe because I talk too much for work or it kind of just settles in and it kind of makes my lips just kind of peel. And the skin on my lips do peel a lot. And I do exfoliate my lips and everything like that, but I'm always constantly taking and wiping the dead skin away. But since this product has come into my life, that has been not the case. It has decreased drastically. So it was actually a two pack and I picked this up during the VIB sale. So uh, I have, let's see, I have original, which is vanilla. And then I also have Barbados Cherry. I haven't opened the second one here, but I love this. This is actually found in the Fenty Skin section because I didn't really realize that. So when you open it up, there is just like a little top. And you see here, you just kind of take your finger and it's, the bottom is a twist tube. So you just kind of twist. And I'm kind of careful of how it twists because a lot will start kind of <laughs> coming up at once as you can kind of see. And sometimes if that happens, I just kind of move it down and then put the lid back on. And I mean, honestly, it is so good. Before bedtime, when I'm getting ready, after I get out the shower, I will put this on because, like I said, it's a great base sometimes even underneath my lipsticks or just a prep for any type of lip product. And it's an intense recovery mask. So it also says it's going to blanket your lips with hydration for a petal soft pout, smooths conditions, intensely moisturizes with fruit extracts, rich oils. Features our best-selling vanilla scent, new yummy Barbados cherry. And like I said, I think... I'm not sure if this has petrolatum in it or not. Let's see. Mm, ingredients. 
Okay, I don't see if it has, but it's fabulous. You think I would be able to read the ingredients a little bit better because I have a doctorate in pharmacy, but sometimes I'm like, mm, nope. <laughs> My brain is cut off after work, you know, so and it's really small and I'll have my glasses off. But this literally one of my favorite products of the year. I cannot live without it. I love it so much. I think it's worth the money. It doesn't make my lips peel. I love it as a lip mask. I still do enjoy like my lip oils like by Blend Bunny and the Dior lip oil, but nothing compares to this as far as like an actual true moisturizing hydration mask for my lips. I've tried like the Tatcha lip oil before, like the Tatcha gold spun. I like that. I think I even have a backup in my drawer from like, I don't know how long the Kaleidos ones. I've tried so many. I have one I think from Ofra in my drawer now that I got in the swag bag. I've tried so many. The old school formulations, the Burt's Bees, like all of them. This has been the best. And look how shiny. It really looks like, you know, I got on the lip gloss. Like, like I could have just put on a little brown liner and I would have been set. Do you see this? This is perfection. This is the product I've been waiting on. And because I wear a mask at work or my lips just kind of take a beating or if I'm not wearing a mask and all the talking and just look, this has been the savior for sure. Okay, so another product been in love with, okay? Now for me, she's had a lackluster year, <laughs> but this product right here stands out. This is the Pat McGrath Intensifies Long Wear eye primer okay in the shade clear eyeshadow primer we finally got an eyeshadow primer by mama pat herself this year so glad nice little doe foot applicator guess what the packaging the packaging is right do you hear how hard this is okay you know sometimes the packaging can be a little questionable when it comes to mama pat when she gets it right she gets it right when she gets it wrong it's just wrong and bad, hence the under eye powder. <laughs> just bad. But this is right. And because it dries down clear, you're able to see the true beauty of your shadows, especially like your mattes, and it has a strong hold. Now, of course, this does work beautifully with her eyeshadows, as it should, because it's her formulation, her eyeshadows. You would think they would just harmoniously blend together and they do but right now I'm wearing the adept element 115 palette and it's great so you see i have on this shade right here and this shade right here it allows the mats to pop it allows them to blend out it allows you to see the mats then of course if the mats are a little bit thinner or lighter in texture or lighter in shade like this one is at purple you don't see a stark primer underneath because guess what it's clear it's translucent it goes with every skin complexion and that's what you want in an eyeshadow primer when you're just going to come out with one eyeshadow primer like i don't want some nude color that's going to be vanilla on me on my skin complexion you're gonna see all of that through there. That's why I can't stand that. That's why I love eyeshadow primers that are typically my skin complexion, like MAC Contemplated State, my OG that I had to give up, which is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Caffeine. I do have a Glam Light one to try, but this is a fabulous product. It doesn't take a lot. It pats down really clear. It gets a little tacky and it gets really smooth. And because it's translucent, it doesn't look like anything is there, of course. And your shadows just apply and blend over so well. And the price, the price point wasn't that bad. It was like in the $20 to $30 range. Kind of similar, normal for any type of um, eyeshadow primer. And it's worked well. I've used it with Pat McGrath. I've used it with Adept. I've used it with Glam Light. I've used it with, uh, what else? Clarity. I've used it with Blend Bunny. I have used it with, let's see, this is Ghost Town USA. I've used it with Nomad. So I have been putting this primer to the test. You know, usually when I do my eyeshadow looks, they are on for hours at a time. And this has been holding my eyeshadow looks together. All right. So these two releases, 
They're so good. And I don't really normally talk about fragrance on my channel because I'll just be like, hey, y'all, this smells good. You should try it. But I have these two right here. And I am actually going to go back and get a full size. I want to say of this one, which is number 35, the wedding, the velvet sandal. And then I also have the silk. But first of all, they both. And this just came out in the fall. And I am already... Actually, let me just <laughs> put a little on here. It smells good. <laughs> it can smell good while I'm doing my video, right? <laughs> so, yes. <sighs> it smells. It's warm. It's inviting. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel cozy. It feels rich. And that's the velvet one, okay? Now we also have the silk one. So this is number 36. Mm, this one is a little bit lighter and a little bit, hold on, let me get the descriptions. Cause like I said, I'll just be over here talking about, it smells good y'all. All right, I had to flip over to the actual Huda Beauty website because it's not on the Sephora website. I remember they sold out, but then I ended up buying it from the beauty here the beauty website okay so it says it's sandalwood cedarwood and benzonin the creamy and woody base is reminiscent of a lingering embrace rounding out the sublime scent as a testimony of unconditional love that's a lot for a fragrance okay but it says the vibe is warm magnetic and suave which i did say it does feel warm and i love that about it and the fragrance family is warm and sheer and the key notes for this one is going to be white musk cedarwood and sandalwood okay and then for this one which is the number 36 all right so for number 36 we have this is going to be an intense sensual and luxurious vibe mm -hmm. it's still warm and spicy and this is a woody spicy and you're going to have key notes of vanilla sugar praline and oud. So I did say that this one smelled a little bit sweeter. So you do have to pick these up on the actual Huda website at the moment. So I'm definitely going to invest in full size bottles of these because I just love it. I, I love it so well. So, 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 so much. Okay. Now let's see. I do have a few like bonus treats worked in here and this would be the luminous silk. Okay. This is the luminous silk glow liquid bronzer and it does have SPF 15 in there. And I have, I want to say shade 710, but it's one of the deeper shades, but it's a beautiful liquid bronzer and it applies so well even with a brush and I'm just going to take a little angle brush right here and put a couple drops on my face so you can see it and it does give like that luminous feel to it just a tiny bit of shimmer but nothing too great it is kind of like on top of my highlighter but as you can see right there it is just beautiful it might be I might have made it a little patchy right there sorry that was a terrible devil <laughs> but you know my heart was in the right place but it is gorgeous and it's very thin and it don't have to worry about it like running all over the place or anything like that and I love how it has this little dropper applicator and it is just a beautiful liquid bronzer and when do you really hear me talk about like liquid bronzer products here and it works so well of course with the luminous silk foundation and concealer by armani so i definitely wanted to throw that in as an honorable treat okay now back to the regular scheduling program so we have two more left and then i have another little surprise for my top five and of course you know i love me some eyeshadows what do i say eyeshadow is my jam okay so hmm, baby she did it. She did it. She did it. She did it. Okay. This is Sumerian Sunset. And whew, I just started trying this one yesterday and I am loving this too. But she came through with this one. These shimmers, honey, this, this is like a 9.5 out of 10 for me. The reason why I say it's a 9.5 out of 10 for me because these two mats, they're, they're a little on ash, the ash factor. But everything else, gorgeous. Okay, first of all, we have this beautiful, uh, what do you call it? Um, holographic shade right here that is called Tal Shahir. Oh my gosh, with a little pink 
peachy flip. Jesus, just let me get a good little swatch for you. Just a beautiful, beautiful shade. I don't have anything like this. So much fun. You have beautiful burnt oranges, which are just gorgeous in the fall, transcending into winter. You can make a little bit more neutral by just adding in the khaki shades. You can go bright and vibrant. You got pinks, golds. It's it's so well thought out. And the thing about it is nothing really looks the same. Even though you have all these bright oranges, you would just think like, oh, that's going to look like this. But no, it doesn't. Or even with the pinks, oh, that's going to look like this. Nope. Even with the regular golds, oh, that's going to... Nope. Everything is shifting its own way. You can pair this with browns and just going about your business. Pop this on the lid. It's gorgeous. So I just love this palette. It is sticking around. This is a Dep Cosmetics Sumerian Sunset, if I didn't say that for some reason. But she did her thing. Just a beautiful, beautiful, well curated, thought out palette. And I've been using it consistently ever since it, come out. <laughs> it came out. I mean, literally like almost... It's in the rotation once a week, once every other week. It says a lot. You got a lot of eyeshadow palettes, okay? And then this one too. She's been in the rotation also. And I'm glad because she cost a pretty penny, but I do think it was worth it. Harvest Moon by Inslee Rain Cosmetics. With this palette is just gorgeous, down to the artwork, down to the color story, but it's really the color story. It's the color story, it's the shadow formulations, and even though you might think that there's some repeat shades from Sumerian Sunset in here, there really aren't. What I do really love about this particular palette, you have these two right here that also are like the holographic or... Um, kaleidoscope type of shades is that what you call it i can't even think of it right now but these are a little bit more confetti glitter particles in there but they're not actual glitter particles and then these two like mysterious shades you know like sparkling cider and ghost moon they are gorgeous and that shift i don't know if you can see it and they just kind of really great for popping on outer corner great for putting the smoky lid eyelid together you have some really beautiful golds you have some greens and the mattes are just perfect and the mattes are all good in this palette so it's winning on that thing even though some of the shadows look a little textured they're not i think some people just say that they wish they had a mirror the pants are magnetic so it has a plus size plus side if you want to you know go ahead and mix and match but overall this is just such a gorgeous gorgeous palette and I have been loving it now I have one more mention and I was sitting here doing my makeup and I was like yeah girl just just go ahead throw this and just throw it in just throw it in and they're all dirty because I use them <laughs> quite a bit and I have just I was like this this was a solid release I did not see this coming but I'm glad that she took the time to do this and I'm over here trying to pull up some product information for you okay so these are are the brushes by Singe Beauty. These are by Angelica Nyquist. These are this is her brand. Um, you probably know her as Angie. She's a YouTuber here, and she started this brand. And these brushes are really, really beautiful. They're synthetic, but the price point isn't too bad. But what I really appreciate it about is the shapes. And that's what she thought about because she said she kind of has hooded eyes. She likes to do intricate makeup looks. And when you like to do intricate makeup looks or like if you're here on YouTube and I'm trying to showcase like this color to this color and blend it in and you see all the little color differentiation and the, the blend and the gradients. Like you need brushes like this. I also especially love that there's no pencil brush. I don't really like pencil brushes. And every time you get a set, I always feel like I need to put a pencil brush in there. Thank you for not doing that. But you have like a nice big fluffy blender brush, right? But they can also kind of do some detailed work. And then you go down and you have another detailed blender. Let's see. Yep, so this one's a little bit smaller versus this one okay so you can definitely just get in that crease keep the colors precise you go down even a little bit further you have one good angle brush you can use this to pack on the inner corner it flips well it also gets right up in that crease like right in there wherever the hood goes you know or you can use this for shadow 
and it's a nice shape. Look at it. It kind of has like a point at the top. And then you also have like a flat shader brush also that you can use for the outer corner or you can put, sweep across the lid. Very well thought out, washes very well, been using them all year. And I love them. And it was a solid, solid release. Uh, the five um, brush set isn't on the website right now. It looks like she's offering a seven piece because I think she had a couple additions with her new brushes that just launched, which are mostly face brushes. But honestly, like I said, amazing amazing product so definitely wanted to put that in my top five for the year as far as makeup products so let me know down below what are your top five products of the year those are my top five releases plus a few extras for the year so let me know what are yours down below if you're not following beauty in the frizz my girl kara Go ahead and follow her right now. Run over to her channel. Let her know that Ashley sent you or Dr. Ash and <laughs> show her some love. So I hope you guys enjoyed the releases that I picked out because I have sure been enjoying these so much. And give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come back with another video, which will be soon. And subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And with that being said, you already know how we got to end the videos around here. If you're new, we end the video with a chair dance okay so you already know what time it is it's time for the chair dance chair dance hey 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 chair dance mm, mm, chair dance. Hey. all right y'all <laughs> bye